So this is the fourth day. I've had a couple of days off to spend time with my family and socialise and just uh, recover really from the um, how uh, the exhaustion of, of getting to this stage. Um, coming back, it's looking good. Um, I'm moving on from the chainsawing, which is the, the the sort of the roughing out thing, to finer tools like this this here, this Arbitec, which is a very good tool for just taking off a fine layer, and it'll. Start, we'll start to see the grain coming out of the wood. Uh, at the moment, the main, main thing we're seeing is the chainsaw cuts. Uh, and we'll start seeing the beautiful oak grain coming out, which I'm really looking forward to. Um, so is it important to take some time off then? Yes, yeah. You could, uh, when you're doing a, a big project like this, if you just carried on, for one thing, there's a risk you might make a mistake to yourself or to the wood. Uh, either cut yourself or cut the wrong, wrong piece off. Um, and just to come back and look at it again, um, just giving it time to, for the thoughts to go through your mind and to come up with new concepts. Uh, I mean, the, the, the whole theme of this is changing into more being a guardian of the forest, quite a huntress sort of Amazon warrior, warrior rather than, uh, to start with, it could have just been a tree nymph, just looking pretty and, and, and quite passive. Um, the moment the idea is uh, that she's throwing something with this hand, like a spear or something, um, in, a, in a sort of either she's hunting for food or she's protecting her, her territory against invasion. Uh, and I quite like that idea of it becoming a bit more of an active, uh, dynamic pose. Um, and I know that the, the model's really keen on that as well. She's, she's quite excited about that. So are you onto the hand tools yet? No, this is uh, another dangerous but very effective um, power tool. Right. It's um, basically an angle grinder with three teeth. Um, Should we have a closer look at that? So you finish with the chainsaw. Yeah, we, we might come back and do a few cuts with it, but the main the main shape is there. Uh, this is allowing us to to just get you know say get get some of these sharp edges down to the to the wood. And then we'll decide what we're going to define. So what's it called again? Uh, it's a Arbitac turbo plane. It's quite an expensive bit of kit. So it's over a hundred pounds. What, just for the blade? Just for this. Um, but I've I found it's well worth it. Um, the other one I've got has just got three teeth on the edge. That's the standard Arbitac, uh, which is great for doing cuts, but for doing sweeping shaping. Um, it's it can dig in too much and it's a bit more dangerous as well with this it's less likely to grab and run up your arm this is the Arbitac turbo plane that's the other thing once you're using these things I mean even sanders you know the dust is not good for you um, the, and a power respirator like this is, is ideal um, for it has a battery you can get rechargeable batteries. This is one I've made myself because the original one um, broke. Um, so the the dangerous dusty air is going in through these filters. Pressurised clean air is coming around your face. This is now about 350 quid. And also means that when the chips fly up, they, they uh, hit this rather than my face, which is a good idea for protecting my eyes. And even just your skin, it's quite painful when chips hit your face. So this is the bit I'm going to be shaping to start with, with, with this, that bit and that bit. So here you can see the effect of the grain starting to show up. We've got this nice line coming across here um, that you can't see in the in the chainsawed edge, but um, this so that, that's quite nice. And 
um, these lines, as, as I start to work, uh, work on the breast, the line should be accentuating it and the nipple at the end, if we, if we do that amount of um, detail on it, will actually be sticking out the most. So there should be the nice, a nice line around that and giving it a really nice shape. Um, so yeah, that's, that's, that's quite a nice um, effect that we're starting to get with, with the, uh, the grain showing.